Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Homeopathy World. I'm Dr. Samina and in today's video we are going to discuss all the new amendments that are made to the BHMS Homeopathy degree course by National Commission for Homeopathy. So let's go through this document. Now in this document as you can see all the details are given. We will go straight to the important sections of this document so that we can discuss the important sections in detail. So let us first discuss the eligibility criteria for admission and manner of admissions. So to seek eligibility in the BHMS degree course, the candidate should pass 10 plus 2 or its equivalent that is 12 standard with a recognized board with the subjects physics, chemistry and biology and should obtain minimum of 50% marks together in physics, chemistry and bio. So, a student from general category should obtain at least 50% marks while that of the students of scheduled car, scheduled drive and backward classes can obtain up to 40% marks in their 10 plus 2 examinations. Regarding the persons with disability, under the Persons with Disability Act 2016, they can obtain 45% if they belong to the general category while have to obtain 40% if they belong to scheduled cast, scheduled drive and other backward classes. No candidate shall be admitted to the BHMS degree course if they haven't attained the age of 17 years on or before the 31st day of December of the year of admission. So this is also very important that the age criteria comes into consideration in this point and here as you can see this is the eligibility of 10 plus 2 that is 12 standard okay so let's move on and now the most important question that everybody has what about need yes of course you have to appear for need if you have to uh, take admission to your bhms course you have to be a need student you have to appear for your need exams while uh, undergraduate program, 50% of the marks should be obtained in NEET for any candidate in the open category. While scheduled cast, scheduled drive and OBC category students can obtain minimum of 40 percentile. And that of the Disability Act students can take up to 45 percentile if they belong to general category and 40 percentile if they belong to scheduled cast, scheduled drive and other backward classes. Okay, so this was about the NEET exams. Now next is the merit list and everything will be similar to that of the previous years. Okay, now once you have taken admission, the duration of the course becomes utmost important. So the duration of first year BHMS will be 18 months. Now the present batches have first year of 12 months while their final year is of 18 months. But again it is changed back to first year being 18 months, second year being 12 months, third year being 12 months, fourth year that is final year being 12 months and internship being 12 months. So this is how the duration of the course is divided now. So in total there will be again five and a half years of course okay let's move on then let's move on to what is the pattern of study now in the pattern of study the foundation program is of utmost importance now in this curriculum the uh, foundation program is of 90 hours which can be six hours per day based on the content of the foundation course now what is the content of the foundation course so here the student of homeopathy will learn history of homeopathy getting oriented to developments in the homeopathy science ar across the globe and understanding on improvisation of interpersonal communication skills and management of stress, time and basic life support and also first aid. Now also here you can see the basic teaching hours are given that is 2268 hours to be accomplished in 324 days. So every year there will be at least 2268 hours of professional session. Okay. Now let's move on. As I'm moving on you can go through 
all the different um, sections you can pause and you can read it but i'm just going through uh, all the document and giving you only the utmost important information so here you will see the subjects to be taught in first year bhms so earlier we used to have anatomy histology and embryology that is the first subject physiology biochemistry that is the second subject and then we had homeopathic pharmacy all the other subjects were optional or uh, they were taught in first year but they never had any exams on that subject so now as you can see homeopathic materia medica is added organon of medicine with philosophy is added repertory and case taking will be started from first year fundamentals of psychology in relation to homeopathy will be from first year and fundamentals of yoga however out of these eight subjects you have two minimum electives so there will be two subjects that has to be elected by the student throughout the course of their first year so two subjects have to be elected by the student themselves okay now let's move on and let us see what are the subjects taught in the second year of bhms so earlier there were forensic medicine pathology and microbiology and materia medica organon these were the only subjects that were included in the bhms course now the second bhms course will also have repertory and case taking community medicine surgery gynecology and obstetrics and practice of medicine again the minimum electives here also will be two now let's move on to the third professional year that is in third year we used to have homeopathic materia medica organon of medicine with homeopathic philosophy then we used to have surgery gynecology yeah these were the subjects now again the modern pharmacology is included in the third year syllabus with a comparison with homeopathic materia medica and there is repertory and practice of medicine now as you can see these three subjects repertory practice of medicine and modern pharmacology will be the foundation for the final year so again electives will be two so each year you can have up to two elective subjects now let us understand what are the elective subjects in further in this video so let's first finish with the final year subjects so earlier we used to have final year mein uh, homeopathic materia medica organon of medicine with homeopathic philosophy repertory and case taking practice of medicine and that is it so we used to finish by these subjects but now research methodology and biostatistics is added to the course and there is therapeutic yoga and lifestyle management that is added so these are the two new subjects that are added and here there are no electives as you can see let us understand what is electives so commission has decided to introduce electives to be implemented at the bhms course for academic year 2023-24 electives have to be a feature in medical education in many parts of the world it constitutes an optional course of study devised to enrich the educational experience of the student the elective program will start in second term of first bhms and extend through the second and third years a list of elective topics will be provided as a guideline for bhms course student each student will require to choose two electives each in first year second year and third bhms that becomes complete of set of six electives the student will make a choice and communicate the topic to the coordinator of the respective years electives are not part of the classroom work the institute will not be required to organize any formal course or teaching program for the student to do the elective however the institute will assign students to teachers like a mentor of that particular year who will be responsible for encouraging and guiding student to complete the chosen electives elective will be submitted one month prior to the final exam of the responsive year just like your journals the institute will ensure that electives are freshly undertaken every year and not the same copy paste from the previous year all electives will be graded and grades will be the part of final mark sheet of that year 
no student will be promoted unless the electives have been submitted okay so that this point will be very important that until and unless you submit your electives there will be no promotion to the following year so clinical training that we all know what it is and if, if you are interested you can pause it and read and then there are different um terms that are given then there is guidelines for examination i'm going to pause here because as you can see this is how your electives will be graded okay so your grading of electives is very important you can go through this particular section or you can take a screenshot next this is all the instructions that are given to the college not for the students so for evaluation criteria as you can see the evaluation criteria will consist of the practical and clinical performance viva mcqs and meqs open book test summary writing class presentation workbook maintenance that is your journals research paper synopsis problem based assignments ob objective structured clinical examination objective structure practical examination mini clinical evaluation exercise direct observation of procedures and case based discussions extracurricular activities like social work public awareness surveillance prophylaxis activities sports and other activities okay and small projects so as you can see the number here you can see the subjects in first year while the number of lectures non lectures and total the same thing is given for all the four years i'm just going to slide through this document now okay here you can see the mark distribution for final year subjects and then there is a compulsory rotatory internship and stipend that is to be given to central and state government and union territory institutions and all private homeopathy colleges and institutions the stipend shall be paid at par with other medical systems under representative of government under respective government and there shall not be any discrepancies between the medical system so each medical system will be paid equally this is about the clinical work or uh, the internship what you call this is the distribution of internship for the coming batches it will be like this again you can take a screenshot if you want this is all about the internship details about the leave of the interns and everything else so as i said most of this document is for uh, the college purpose rather than for the students attendance maintenance and all those things completion of rotatory internship so 
this is the end of the video i hope it was helpful and i hope if you like the video and if you've got some information you will subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you get the notification on the updates regarding the bhms course thank you